in version 4.0. Now, if you've never used Reason before, don't worry too much if some of this will go over your head. Uh, we'll actually break Reason completely down in the next section called Getting to Know Reason. Uh, but for those of you uh, who have been using Reason uh, throughout the years, since a few versions ago, here's a breakdown of the new features to look for in version 4.0. The sequencer has been thoroughly overhauled with the biggest additions being lanes for alternate takes or automation info. Actually, speaking of automation, it is now vector based, meaning that you can easily grab points and slide the lines and curves connecting them much more easily. We have clips that can be easily split with the razor tool, a new tool window with plenty of parameters to tweak. The regroove mixer allows you to shuffle, slide and apply grooves to your tracks with individual settings for each sequencer lane. You could have one groove for the snare lane and another one for the hi-hat. Of course, four is the big new synth on the block with a ton of features. We'll explore this synth later on, but suffice to say it is big, big, big and worth the price of an upgrade of 4.0 alone. We have a dedicated RPG-8 monophonic arpeggiator which can be used to, for auto-triggering notes or even other parameters through the use of CV control. And there's some new features on the transport bar, as well as the new device palette too. I, I almost hesitate to list these features up front because every one of you who is a brand new to Reason, you'll be completely shaking your heads over what I've just, just, just described and I don't blame you. Don't worry, that was not for you. That was just for you, those of you who have had previous experience with other versions of Reason. If you're brand new, then just don't pay attention. Uh, to what I uh, just said. We're going to break down Reason to a complete beginner's pace in the next section uh, coming up. Now, if you've never used Reason or any other music software application before, please don't sweat it. Don't think that you've missed everything just in that last thing. We'll be up and running in no time. Now, I will assume that you know, you know a little bit about computers. Uh, while I'll be showing Reason on my um, computer right here, uh, running Windows, everything I did demonstrate will work equally well on the Mac. But I assume that you all know how to select something with a mouse, uh, how to name files, and all of the basic commands like selecting menu options and so on. But apart from that, I'll assume nothing and we'll just get started from scratch. So let's begin by getting to know Reason from the top. 